Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dino. Right, the explosive one got a little tickle. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm the man on the sticks. We're playing the Houston Oil Daddies while he catches his breath. Madden 20. Madden 20. Balance playbook. Balance <laughs> We're playing offense only, Sim in the D as always. Oh my uh, god. All Madden Arcade mode. He wasn't ready for that one, folks. <laughs> it's, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil it. We're Don't recording this him. on Christmas Day. <laughs> Don't tell him I have strep throat. <laughs> <laughs> DT's had strep throat all week. We're recording this on Christmas Day. This is coming out on New Year's Eve, I believe. So happy New Year's Eve, all the budges. <laughs> So it's what? Christmas. We've been wait. It's Christmas, but this one, but drinking. this one's on New Year's. Yeah, we're, that's weird. Yeah, this one's coming on New Year's Eve. Oh, happy New Year's stuff! Yay! Let's talk about New Year's Eve and resolutions in this video. I don't really. You, I, we've done that before too. But yeah, but it's okay. You can yeah, revisit yeah, yeah, that yeah, once yeah, a year. Yeah, 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 that's very true. Yeah. I don't. I don't really make resolutions. I don't either, because I I try to better myself all year long. So. Yeah, it's kind of the way I look at it, I guess. I, okay, here's a hot take. I kind of feel like resolutions are like a way for people to feel better about things. Mm -hmm. worth, and that, like, because they're like, oh, I'm going to do this in the new year rather than just like being accountable and taking <laughs> and doing things throughout the year <laughs> that they want to do anyway. Yeah, who wants to be accountable? That's hard. <laughs> Dude, I've had serious problems in the past holding my, like, my partners accountable. Like, because I'm like, you can't just act an effing fool anytime you want. Like, you, your actions have consequences. Mm. Like, you act like a crazy person or act like a B or act like whatever. Like, I'm going to be like, why are you doing that? And they're I mean, like, I don't want to answer. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, you just can't <laughs> go wild out all over the place, right? Jones, we are not going to turn this into I hate my ex-wife. The, the series. It has nothing to do with my ex-wife. I know. I'm joking. Oh, you know but you, you were. <laughs> no, no, you were. I was joking, but. <laughs> I was like that half joke where you say you're joking, <laughs> but you're not really. No, dude, it has nothing to do with that. No, like, I agree, Jones. Not just my ex-wife. There's other people that yeah, yeah, feel yeah, that yeah. way as well. I feel you. I, I just more or less, I think of people always equate like uh it was like uh i'm gonna try to get a better job i'm gonna start going to school i'm gonna go lose weight motherfucker just do that ish now right that's it's like, i'm you... gonna wait till the end of the year and then i'm gonna you're like, yeah you just get better just be better <laughs> yeah that's it like see when you start equating it with a starting line then you don't really you know come to the consensus that you just need to start right is your mic on a hundred percent, man. Just making sure. I didn't see the green bar popping up. I said the, the F word in our sound test like oh, I always right. do. Um, yeah, man, I feel like, yeah. You know, now I'm all for setting a starting line for a goal. Like, full disclosure, I smoked back in the day. You smoked what? Cigarettes? Yes. Oh, my God. And I said, I, when I quit 10 plus years ago, Jones. I set my starting point to quit three months ahead of time so I can get in the mindset mm, 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 to mm, mm. do something. Sometimes you have to be in the right mindset to be successful. Amen. Like there's people who like, they're like, I want to go to the gym, but you got to like, if you force yourself to go and you don't want to go, it's not yeah, going to be successful. Yeah, man. You got to want that. Ish. Right. So if you get to your point, like, okay, I'm giving myself three months to get ready. I mean, Even still, three months man. is a long time, but I did that for smoking because like, I had tried to quit. Oh, f you! A lot of times, and yeah. it didn't work. I guess it just kind of depends on the person you are. Right. Like, uh, I would handle quitting a different way. I just kind of like let the quitting of the smoking. Not that I ever smoke. Don't be a Jonas. Be a TNT dynamite. Don't smoke. Excuse me. <laughs> you admit it. Oh, with hope, down with dope. I mean, I'm speaking like ah, quit sacking me. I know you're talking about cigarettes. I'm you? No, I'm talking subjectively. Oh, no. But uh, I don't know. Just like to just like, boom, done. Never going to do that again. <laughs> I'm, wow. I'm pretty, I'm pretty cool with just being like, nope, never going to do that again. Or never going to talk to that person again. Or never going to oh go back God, there again. Oh, my God, quit sacking me. I'm trying to like do something, like better our team, and they're not letting me. So for me, it's just more like uh, the the beginning time for quitting or starting is just when, when I start. Decide. Yeah, when I decide. Yeah, it's funny. I have this friend of mine, and uh, are you talking about me? No, not you. Oh, I'm not your friend. Another I guy. I have more than one friend. <laughs> uh, 
Was that a slight? Oh my god, not another sack! Get out of my neck bone, dude! Was that a slight because I only have one friend? <laughs> god damn it. I did the D word, dude. I know, I don't know why. Um, So, like, he he's very, like, absolute about things. Absolute. Like, so it was like... I was like, he was like going out and he was like, he, he went to the, he started going to the gym like every day. Got really, got in pretty damn good shape. And I, and, and I remember like one day I was like, man, I was like, yeah, I need that sort of motivation to just get out and go to the gym like that. He was like, just do it. Yeah. He's like, if you want to do it, just go. Yeah. And but, I was like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But the, the, the difference is, is like, it, it, it's about how you initiate things for yourself. So setting a date. And then adhering to it, that works for some people. Some people just F and go. Some people need people to get them started on things, and then they can get themselves going. Right. It's like they need, like, a push. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. Yeah, like, I am all about being that. Oh, my God, I'm so tired of being F and sack TNT Dynamite. <laughs> I'm just trying to make our guys better. Yeah, Jonas, it's all right. It's Christmas Day, I have rage. <laughs> I, I know that, no, Christmas rage. So. But, uh, oh, what'd you get for Christmas, Jonas? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Loser. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> no, I didn't get anything. Either. No, I got. Let's see. My mom sent me. Oh, uh, see, no, no, how you gonna do that? You knew I got Omaha steaks. No, that doesn't count. I got Omaha steaks. My grandma sent me like, some cash. Dude, go eat them. I didn't get an actual present, dude. Okay, I'm gonna be you real. Cash is a present, motherfucker. But, but guess, okay, yeah, okay. My grandmas each sent me some money. That's this liquidated but, gift, dude. Okay, so at my job, like I am, I support people who live in another state, right? Sure. So there's a there's a girl at my work who we we chat and BS. She was literally like, are you working the day after Christmas? And I'm like, I am. She's like, make sure you answer the door. You're going to get a knock. One of the teams chipped in and bought me an effing Christmas present, and they're sending it to me, and it's coming tomorrow. No. One of the teams of people I support at my, like, my like I need this money to live job because this isn't it yet. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was like, are you effing kidding me? I was like, I was touched, man. I was a little touched because they don't have to do anything for me. I'm doing my job. Do, do they know all the things that you call them behind their backs? Uh, I don't call them anything. I actually do like them. They're, they're like some, like, she, like, she's cool. Like, me and her chat all the time. She's funny. Um, but yeah, dude, I was like, I was a little touched, dude. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I was like, you guys have, have no reason to do that for me. Do not score this touchdown. Do I, not score it. I've definitely... I've de <laughs> I need somebody else to score that touchdown. I've definitely, uh, I've had people at my job get me like a birthday gift or something. I'm just like, I don't even know how to, I don't know how to accept that. Right, kind of like stuff. I, in my head, I was like, don't do that. But at the same time, I was like, yeah, that's so sweet of you guys. Like, get me a. Like, she's like, I stalked you and got your address so I could send you a present. Like, yo, is that a problem with us that we just have a <laughs> hard time ex like ex accepting a gift? Because I. I just to think about it, like the last time I got something like that done, I was working in Florida at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the people for my birthday, they got me like a cake and they got me a card and then they got me like a gift card to like to go to the movies because at the time I was going to the movies a lot. And I'm just like standing there. They all want to take pictures and stuff. And I'm like in these pictures just like shrugging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, thank you. You're sad. <laughs> you have like a frown on no, your face. I just, I just don't. I don't know. I've always had a, a difficult time accepting gifts. Man. Oh, I. You know what's funny is like I love performing. I hate being like the center of attention in an awkward situation, like getting gifts. It was so funny, dude. There was this. There was this. Oh my god. I'm like, I'm trying to get this more than win, and we're losing, but I don't care. Um. <laughs> there's a there's a girl that I work with yeah. and she's the same way and she like, doesn't like accepting compliments. she hates like being like the center of attention uh. and like she was pregnant and I knew that they were like doing a, a surprise baby shower for her and I felt she's like one of my closest oh. dude this mother effer will not catch the passes <laughs> I will lose wow. trying to get him to do oh, this Jesus. almost called you somebody else man and that is not a good person to remind me of just Oh wow! Don't, don't <laughs> call me your ex. I, we don't oh have, I, my I, god, it was bad. <clears throat> no, uh, but I Jesus. felt <clears throat> I felt bad, like not telling her it was coming, no. because like I knew her well enough to be like, this is gonna make you feel so effing awkward. Like, 
I want to like be like your friend. Oh my god! I can't. So I've known like I knew this one girl who we like took her out to eat on her birthday, and like I was like, I'm gonna get the waitresses to come over and sing for you. So they come out <laughs> clapping their hands and they're like, "Happy birthday here at Fridays," and like sh- she started crying because <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to be the center of attention. <laughs> Wow. I'm like, that is some serious anxiety right there. And I was yeah. just doing it just being like being a pushy dude that I am. She's like, don't do that. I'm like, you're no, looking great. Do Stop it. getting sacked. <laughs> she's like, she's like, <laughs> she's you like, don't do so that. Many times. I'm like, I'm going to do it. I know, Jonas. We can see that, buddy. It's yeah, all right, I'm though. I literally, literally am. I'm not upset. I just literally want this guy to get better. Sure. It makes me mad because I like making people better, and I can't make this guy better. So right. I don't know what the, what the social anxiety is. I don't know if that's what it is that makes it hard for me to accept a gift. I just, I don't know. I'm more comfortable giving than I am receiving. Like, I'm... Oh, I'll give all day, dude. Like, yeah, I'm all dude. about giving you. Dude... How am I supposed get... to make this man better if he keeps dropping passes? I don't know. Who cares? I'm trying to make him better. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't like giving. I mean, I don't like receiving as much. Like, I'm... Yeah, dude. Yep. That's why... Uh, did you get any, Did you get anybody a Christmas present? No. You didn't get your mom anything. We don't do that. She, she got you Omaha. Thing. Like, okay. No, here's how the conversation went. Hey, Jonas. I don't think I'm going to do Christmas this year because I'm on a fixed income and we shouldn't exchange gifts. Jonas. Then three days before F and Xmas, she sends me an F and Omaha steak. I swear to this is why you're single. This man does not know how women work. Your mom is just a woman, all right? Yeah, but she's a woman. They I- lie. You, they they lie. say, I'm not going to do Christmas. And then what do they do? They turn around and get you something. And then what? You're like, oh, I thought we wasn't doing Christmas. And then you're like, why are you mad? If you don't, get, <laughs> you don't get on Amazon right now and get your mom a fifty dollar, hundred dollar gift card. I will. You no, no you had no, no intention no, no, on no, I doing was going so. To. No, what I do usually is like they drink mm. a lot, so I get them a, a gift card for the liquor store. No, that's... I've done that numerous <laughs> times. Because they'll go and buy like a bunch of like beer and Jack Daniels and stuff. And like, <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> yeah, give my mom liquor for. Go Christmas. ahead, <laughs> tell the world how your mama be getting down, fam. It's, it's cool. okay if they know. Mama Jonas drinks, dude. I'm not cool with people knowing that about my mom. That your mother drinks my alcohol? My mom does not drink. She is a saint. <laughs> my mom does not drink. F you. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> my mom only drinks the purified waters of the angel's tears. Wow, Lake Minnetonka's purest fibers. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I definitely... I definitely think that you should always get your mom something for Christmas or for Christmas. Fargo or Fargo, 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 which one? Fargo, North Dakota. Far, Fargo, the thing. Be damn the thing. Forgo the things that you want for yourself and always get that woman something. This, I'm gonna look how many passes this Unless, mother effer has dropped because I'm just trying to make him a better man. And this dude, he keeps giving up interceptions. I hate his face, TNT Dynamite. Unless your mom's just like a total jerk or something, which that's no, possible. She's cool. Not your mom. I'm talking about the hypothetical listeners' moms. Like I'm literally just doing, trying to do one thing. Yeah, I know that. Like Jonas. I'm literally, but like I hope they enjoy it because our band is good. <laughs> I don't know, man. You, you ebb in the flow a little bit. Dude, I'm try- oh my god, another interception! <laughs> just let it happen. This X boy is gonna <laughs> give it to you. <laughs> just let it happen. It's cool, man. Don't worry. We're gonna lose. It's fine. We are gonna lose. I'm not gonna. Lose. Uh, it's okay. I've lost games. I don't mind. I'm trying to do something too much. I was. Try- I needed seven touchdowns. I only have two. Yeah, that's not enough. It's not. I'm trying to get this boy the next uh, level. I can't even think about like the last Christmas I've had with like a tree, dude, and like lights. I. We have, have not decorated anything. There is no degree oh, of decoration. Oh, there he is. That's the boy I need to have. Look at him. He's excited. There's, um, there's not a light. There's not a card. There's not a piece of You know, and if I didn't paper. like Chance the Rapper's Christmas CDs, there would be no Christmas music in here either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's very true, right? You know I just, what? I have successfully gone all Christmas without hearing Mariah Carey's All I Want for I Christmas. haven't heard it either. And I've been at Walmart and everything. That's oh surprising. My God, that's good. That's surprising. I've actually heard very, very little Christmas music this this Yeah, uh, this well, I heard year. some. I mean, I go to Walmart, so it's there. Mm-hmm. But like, 
But uh, I left the house earlier today just to go see how the oh my how the streets were. I just like went for a drive, and it's pretty barren out there. What do you mean? I just went for a drive. I wanted to go pick up something from the convenience store. I just wanted to see how many people were out there on the Christmas streets. I wish these effing dude the freeway. <laughs> com- I was coming home today, and yes. the freeway was busy. Really? Oh my god, there was a lot of traffic. I was surprised. Really? Yeah. I stayed over at a friend's house last night. Yeah, I know. You and over I was at driving home, house. and a friend. And Christmas friends. And oh my god, can y'all drop any more passes? <clears throat> I'm. I'm. Was it like? Was it like stop traffic? No, but it was thick. Like I literally got <laughs> stuck behind traffic oh, numerous yeah. times. I don't like getting stuck from behind in anything dude, thick. I, I hate it when it's thick and you're stuck in behind. <laughs> That's the worst, dude. Right? <clears throat> dude, and traffic in Austin is it's a whole different animal. It really is bad. Yeah, you know, Angry Joe lives here. Yeah, who's Angry Joe? He's a YouTuber. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of he get angry. Oh uh, yeah, he's like one of them authoritative types. Like he has like a submissive. <laughs> he has a submissive co-host. <laughs> Does he? He has a submissive co-host. <laughs> he basically does. Why? Like he's, he's like one of those authoritative types. And like once your YouTube channel is up or your Twitch channel or whatever. Is that the like, guy look like hit his girlfriend? No. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. But I'm not going to say he does that. Okay. Not putting anything past him or anybody else. But... And so, like, he just, he calls himself Angry Joe, and the other guy's name on the show is Joe as well, and he calls him Others Joe. Like, oh, yeah. how are you going to be Joe and Joe, and you just call him Other Joe? A little bit, a little, little catchy, but, you know, he has, like, some, you know, he has some tendencies just in his, his I did tone it. of voice. I did it. We're up by one. There's About, 17 seconds left. I have come back to the I'm, promised land and I'm, made it happen. I'm proud of you. But uh, yeah, I don't know. They just have like uh, Johnny G is ready to go. They just don't really have like a, a, f- a friend relationship. So they have like a dominant submissive relationship. Yeah, like you can tell, like like one of them is the one that like probably did a lot of the work to get the channel up and going. And the other guys just kind of there hanging out. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't do I don't know. Do you know anything about Angry Joe? I don't. He lives in Austin. Should yeah. be close. Yo. He's got millions of subs. Why don't you start planting seeds? Because he's a jerk. <laughs> I don't like his freaking attitude, dude. <laughs> but anyway, go get your mom some for Christmas. If he can get a shout out to the CTM. Uh, uh, he you make you pay for it. Why don't you start nustling up on his pleasures? Man, he'll make you pay for it. Will he? Yes. He seems like the type. Oh, man. Would you make people pay for a shout out if we got big? Yes. How much? How much? It depends on who it is, too. Okay. How so much if, like, if someone we liked, you would just be like, you know, I'll give you a shout out. Yo, fam, there's different ways to pay for things. You know what I'm saying? Oh, blow <laughs> this, huh? <laughs> I'm just saying. Come to Austin, blow. Yeah, you want me? You want me to? You want me to be your friend? You know, like give <laughs> me a reason. Me a little, toss me a little game <laughs> or something. In the episode. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, share this with your friends because you know we need more friends. For Jonas, TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. Happy New Year's Eve, mofos. We're out.